Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. In this week's episode, we're going to do a walk around of an overlanding camper trailer. So stick around. I know you've seen in some of my other videos how I've shown some of my viewers tow travel trailers. Well, in this episode, we're going to actually look at an overlanding camper trailer. You remember in last week's video where we installed the Easy Flares? Well, my friend Doug in that video, he installed the one inch Easy Flare. He actually has an overlanding camper trailer. Let's go on over there and have a look. So we find ourselves visiting my friend Doug again, this time to have a look at his overland camping trailer that he bought used online. If you want to see a manufacturer of a similar trailer and their video, I'll put a link in the description. Okay, here's my friend Doug who's going to show us his off-road trailer. Hello, Doug. Howdy. Okay, why don't we start at the hitch. What's this showing us here? Well, <coughs> it's one of those, you know, like I said, it's an articulating hitch, so um, it goes up and down and goes side to side. It, it's, it's, uh, you have to have pressure on it, so. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so it'll go oh. side, side to side. So that's for really heavy duty articulation when you're off-road. On the road, yeah. 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 And this shield thing here. Well, I, I, yeah, just to keep bugs and stuff uh, and rocks and what off off your uh, trailer. Okay, the, uh, let's have a look at, at this uh, storage area in the front here. So it's got great storage in the front here for things, and your propane tank and it's protected. And then here you have some jerry cans yeah. and things. My, my diesel. And then this pump and thing. Another one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's got power that'll go up into the tent. Okay. And the tent basically comes off and folds this way. Yes. Yeah. And there's a vestibule, I guess, whatever you want to call it, Excellent. out here. And I should be able to get, because there's a door in the back here, I should be able to get into this. I uh, see. When the tent's up. And tree line is the make the? Of the tent. Yeah. Tree line outdoors. Okay. And now, yeah, they're in the, from Alberta. Okay. And what's in the, here? I'll move on this side. Oh, okay, wow. So it's got uh, now. It this is disconnected because it was a 240 inverter, which I didn't uh, didn't have any use for. Right. Right. But um, uh, the water water level works. It can switch for these lights. Got one on each side. It's got another light switch for here, for nighttime. And I'm right. probably gonna move that and put it on the door. Right, right. Um, so I had to, you know, it's gonna turn the battery switch on or off. It's got a breaker. Everything runs through this unit. Right. And uh, I have a uh, fan, which is in here. Just to take air from the back here. And then it comes up through the door, through here. How is uh, this? Um, so it's a well, that's the Yeti 1500. Okay. And it, so it's uh, you got the charger for it. So I have short power in the back, and it goes to back there, and then so that powers this, mm -hmm. which charges the battery. Right, and then that acts as a converter and inverter all in one. Yeah. So it's okay. got uh, 110. You know, 2,000 watts, 3,500 surge. It's got, uh, you know, the uh, 18 watt, uh, the USB, and uh, info light, uh, and it's got 12 volt uh, output from here. Or if you want uh, two, uh, the different, I can't remember what they are. I think they're eight millimeter. Yeah. And then the uh, Anderson connector. connectors. And then you solar. can plug it with Anderson connectors here or here. And there's also. Uh, inputs back there. That's what it, that's what's hooked up to it right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great unit because it has the inverter, converter, your solar yeah. ch charger, oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. And what is this unit for? Okay, so this is uh, like right here is the Goal Zero car charger. So this comes out, goes into there. It's either 10 amp or 5 amp. Okay. And this goes down through and plugs into the 12 volt charging system uh, in the top that you saw before. So while you're driving, it's yeah. charging your battery yeah. that's in here. And it's got a, you know, I've got a, a 30 amp uh, 
on that line, which is what it's supposed oh, to that's for. excellent. Okay, let's move on. Uh, oh, oh you, yeah. <laughs> this is your, uh, this is to go along with Dino's the cheaper, heater. Cheaper TV portable diesel heater. <laughs> now, you were saying that you are using this because it allows you the opportunity to use it elsewhere. So yes. It's not permanently yeah. mounted. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I can take it out and then I can put it in the uh, yeah. that take says how perfectly it fits, eh? <clears throat> yeah, I was when I measured it I said bonus. Yeah. <laughs> and just another compartment. For storage for food and things like that. Yeah. Whatever you want. I'm actually quite surprised that just a little bit of adjustment on all the, you know, some of the, I had to move this in a bit because it didn't fit tight. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just, that's all I've had to do is just minor adjustments. It looks like, like so heavy duty the way it's built, eh? <laughs> and then I'm, I haven't measured, but I'm thinking I could probably put a, if I wanted to, put a little Honda generator, uh, inverter generator, yeah. Yeah. So when you can't use solar, if the weather's not yeah. great, you yeah. have that option. Yeah, and you were talking about solar. Yeah. I didn't use that plug. I was going to wire it, but uh, uh, I'm just going to, I've got lots of line, and I'm just going to, I'll just run it through the door when yeah. I want to use it. Yeah. So that show me the the tent is tree line and then that yeah. awning it flips it. Yeah. So this just comes on here. So it comes oh. on. It just pulls up. Oh brilliant. That and is the poles amazing. and everything are part are in it. Excellent. Okay. Excellent demonstration. <laughs> If I don't put it back together, I'll uh, forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is just another storage here. Same as before. Wow. And I'm gonna that tarp. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna use to put around. I'm just. I've got some rings and some Velcro. I'm just gonna um, rivet it on for now. Yeah. Just to see what I want. Yeah. We'll go from there. There. I, just got a, I just got it good and tight. Yeah. And just another more storage. More storage. And what's in this one? Yeah, you didn't see this. Oh. The kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that all stainless steel? Yeah. Yeah. And there's legs that come down here. Yeah, yeah. So it had a Chinese heater in it. Which I wasn't too crazy about. Mm -hmm. So I just took that out and I mounted my Coleman. Oh. So it has a... Oh, it's a grill too. Oh, yeah. steak. <laughs> yeah, and then the sink for washing. Yeah. And okay, so the hose. So because of the folds in. Oh, look at that! And that just drains out the bottom. Yeah, it's just a gray water. Yeah, yeah, and then oh, that's the water that connector. So I that's thought the that water. Was your propane. Yeah, so the propane. Um, I'll just run it through the same hole here. Come off the tank. I'll just run it through there, and, and the little uh, gotcha. The regulator's right there. Oh yeah. So right here is the uh, right little regulator from the stove. Okay. So I just plug. I just plug it right in there. Okay, and then we'll finish with the snorkel. Yeah. So that's a breather. Yeah. For a snorkel, as I wanted to get air in without getting any water in. Yeah. So it comes up here. And there's a glass, and apparently, so the air just comes up through here, 
and then down in the uh, inlet into here, and then it just flows through for ventilation the of yeah. the box. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll just do a quick walk around. You could button it up while I do yeah, this. Yeah, you can see it's nice if you want to take the underneath the. It's got the in independent uh, suspension, lots of clearance. It's your water tank, which is protected. Well, it's got chains over there, eh? On this. As I was under the trailer and checking out the suspension and seeing how heavy duty this thing has been constructed, I thought it was maybe not a good idea for me to do this review because now I want one. I could certainly go to places with this trailer that I can't get to with my travel trailer. And a special thank you to Doug, you're a great guy. Thank you so much for showing us your trailer. So hopefully you found that interesting. Now let's move on and look at a tip for when you're using solar power with your trailer. Now for some cheaper, jeeper tips. I know I've seen a lot of people on YouTube videos who install solar panels on the top of their travel trailer. The issue with that is what about if it's super sunny and you wanna camp with your trailer in the shade? Well, if you have your solar panel hard mounted to the top of your trailer, it's gonna impact how much solar energy you can get when you're in the shade. That's why I like to use portable solar panels so I can move them somewhere on the campsite where there's sun. For example, when we were camping in Lake Superior Provincial Park, I was able to keep the Jeep in the shade because we were sleeping in the Jeep, but I could put the solar panels where the sun was shining. Similarly, I'm going to do the same kind of thing with my travel trailer, or if you have an overlanding trailer, the same thing. You can keep your solar panels portable and move them into the sun while you keep your trailer in the shade. So hopefully you found that interesting. And so make sure you also stick around for our subscriber tip segment, where we have some great tips from last week's video on the installation of Easy Flares. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from last week's video on how to install Easy Flares fender extensions. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, save yourself some grief later and get a much better result. Use some 3M4298 adhesion promoter wet wipes before putting these on. The bond will be much better. Signed, David. Hey David, thank you so much for the tip. I'm sure that your suggestion would lead to much better results. Thank you very much. And if any of you have tips that you'd like to share, please feel free to put them in the comments section of this video as they may make it into a subsequent video. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. For those of you interested in the restoration I'm doing on my travel trailer, I do have a couple of videos coming, so make sure you stick around. And if you don't want to miss it and you're not subscribed, please feel free to click on that subscribe button right here so you don't miss that and upcoming episodes. Till the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.